Hello there, this is Bill McKibben. Um, I, I'm very grateful to you all for taking an interest in this latest chapter of the climate fight, the greatest fight that human beings have ever had to engage in. This time we're talking about divestment. Uh, uh, it's a movement that has spread in the last three months across America's college campuses like nothing in a quarter century. There are now 340 some college campuses where this is a big active fight and that's great and the fact that it's spreading now to faith communities is e even greater. Let me tell you why. I'm not going to spend a lot of time going on and on about climate change. I wrote the first book about all of this 25 years ago and the truth is the, the things that scientists worried about then are happening faster and on a bigger scale, on a biblical scale. Last summer the Arctic melted. Um, you know, it's not a good sign when you're taking the planet's major physical features and breaking them. Um, that's why people are responding in every possible way. We're ch doing things in our own homes and in our sanctuaries and congregations, changing the light bulbs and putting in insulation and figuring out how to walk to church or to synagogue, doing the sort of things we should. Um, but we've got to do more than that because the hour is late and that's why people are also trying to put real pressure on the companies that are pouring the carbon into the atmosphere and that are subverting our democracy in order to make sure that no one ever stops them. They're putting all the financial pressure on Washington. The biggest campaign contributions post Citizens United have come from oil companies trying to make sure that no one ever adopts climate legislation and things. So we need to pressure back, and we are. Divestment, some of you may recall its use in the South African apartheid struggle a quarter century ago. Desmond Tutu, who helped lead that struggle, made a little video for us last fall when we were on college campuses just saying, if you could see what was going on with climate change in Africa, where we've done nothing to cause it, you would understand why I'm asking you to take up this tool again. Um, we're not going to bankrupt Exxon by churches and mosques and synagogues pulling their money out. It'll hurt, but it won't bankrupt them. What it will do is begin to cast real political pressure on them to make people understand that they don't deserve the social license that they've been granted, that they're the planetary equivalent of sort of the tobacco industry or something. And so we badly need that kind of pressure coming from uh, uh, religious institutions. I can't promise you it's going to work. Even if I could promise you it wasn't going to work, you should still be doing it, and we all should, because it's not okay to participate in this. If it's wrong to wreck the climate, then it's wrong to profit from that wreckage. It is not okay to pay the pastor's retirement account or to fund the building project for the church by investing in companies that are running Genesis backward. If we can't, on this most bottom line and basic of issues, draw a real line, then where will we draw it? I am so grateful to everybody who understands that on this issue we have to move beyond shareholder resolutions and proxy fights and things, that we have to actually figure out a strong, swift, powerful way to register the ultimate discontent with those forces, those powers and principalities that are doing everything they can to undermine everything good on this sweet earth. It's correct that young people took the first lead because they're going to have to deal with this for a very long time, but it is correct that faith communities follow in their wake because faith communities are the place where we go to think about ourselves as a people, to think about eternity in some sense, to think about all those who will come after. And thinking about them in this case means something as simple as selling that Exxon stock, getting rid of those chairs and Peabody coal, and doing it in a way that makes a public statement about the future. Thank you all so much.